a new day, a new project, a new fixing. In fact, you know, uh, I have this uh, crepe maker, pancake maker. In fact, this is a very professional uh, cooking machine. A friend of mine has got a little shop doing this kind of crepe. We call it crepier. It's a French name of uh, this kind of uh, non-sticking cooking table. It's made from really heavy iron and uh, it's great for all kind of pancakes and related to this. It's a non-sticking in named cast iron plate. Uh, this is made by Krampus, it's a company, but it's very hard uh, to find the replacement parts. And because these are used like maybe uh, 12 hours per day, there is always a problem with the thermostat, maybe with the heating element and so on. So what I'm trying to do today is to replace the heating element with some indigen resistor, if I can. So uh, let me start doing the things. I already dismantled the top. In, under here, we have the heating resistor. Oh man, it's so heavy. Okay. Yes. So this is this is the heating plate somehow. In here we have a thermostat. That's for working temperature from 50 to 350. Celsius degrees Celsius and uh, there is also here safety thermostat what that means if this one fail it's over temperature or over heating or something it's uh, disconnecting the heating element around 180 degrees what's nice about we have a reset button okay here the click okay uh, let me show you closer a thermostat you see this is a thermo sensor and uh, in here, this is a little pipe, I can call it. In here, it's a kind of oil or something. And this one goes over here. We have a kind of drum. And when gain a certain temperature, then the contact is acting. You can hear the click. So this is a very uh, sensitive element and it's hard to work on it, to fix it and so on. All right. That's the working thermostat. And this is a part of the resistor, previous resistor from uh, another, another table like this. All I could find, this is one millimeter wide and the whole resistance, it's around 20 ohms. And that gives like 2000 watts of power. Of course, lots of screws over here with, 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 with few washers like this to keep the, the whole uh, thing down on place. We don't need this anymore. So now, if I measure the resistor, I got nothing, zero. So the resistor, the heating element, is somewhere broke, interrupted. So uh, we have to check that out. Lots of screws, like I said before, I already already took them off. And a lot of spacers like this. Very important to keep all the parts together, to know exactly when you put them back, and how to put them back. Okay, there are two metal tops here, two metal plates under this and there we are this is the register here and somewhere around here i recall it's broken right there the point is that they are so expensive because of all these ceramics all around and not only the ceramic but this one is also important to know the connection uh, tips. I'm gonna tie this together. But this is not for functionality, no, not at all. I want to measure the length. I want to measure the length of the heating element. So I know how long it should be the replacement. But it's very, very, uh, what can I say? 
is breaking very easy, it feels like. Okay, so we have two pieces now. All right. Okay, let's do it some other way. I take these things down. We're gonna measure part by part. So we have the first one. One, six, four. Around 255 millimeters. Two meters and a half, let's say, two meters and a half. This is very important because, let me show you why. And I have a new heating resist and it have like 55 centimeter. We have take it like this and make it like 250 centimeters, a little bit uh, shorter than 255. And because we can, we can, uh, you know, with, uh, with some elements like this, with some ceramic, you know, for extra ceramic for having the right length. And uh, by the way, I already did that. Let me show you. So this is a brand new one. It's supposed to be uh, 3000 watts. I'm not sure by my measurements, it have around 30 ohms. So that gives me like maybe 2000, 2000 and a half. I don't know, we'll see. I never used that before. Like I told you, I'm trying to find the solution for this replacement, for this uh, heating elements, because they are so damn expensive. So I'm just trying to see if it's working with the new replacement part. So I don't need to use this now because I already have one in the working progress. Yeah, I know the environment is pretty noisy. We are in the middle of the town and it's a lot of action so you can see this one it's almost to the right length almost done all we have to do now is to have these pearls these ceramic pearls one by one covering the heating element it's a long process pretty boring you see, I'm not a professional. I'm doing that for helping my friend. And uh, it's, it's always fun, you know, it's always fun. Don't forget to have fun in everything. That's the meaning of hobbies. And that's the meaning of, you know, learning and uh, analyzing things, fixing things. I never fix something like this, but it's so logical and the schematic is very simple. I'm going to draw you a schematic at the end of the, of the video. Okay, you have to be really careful with your fingers because this is like a spring. So it's really biting. As soon as the power gets in, the spring will be relaxing. We don't, we're gonna lose the pressure. Almost there. So perfect, almost there. Now I have to take the connection, the end of this, and we have two torques, screws here, and some extra elements. See, that's the torques. And this is um, brass. We'll keep, we'll keep the heat away from the contacts. And there we are. I think we are done. And now let's put these things in place. <laughs> One millimeter. I think that's the way that we have the we have the spacers. Oh no! I'm sorry. We have the first 
metal plate. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the one here. I think this is perfect. Let me check. So we should have like 30 ohms. And we have and everything is clear by the ground so we don't have a connection to the ground or to the table itself now we have the spacers this will have a kind of thermal uh, isolation protection and that keeps mechanically all the things something like this screws okay not too tight because I have to plant the thermostat on Thermostat. The thermostat sensor goes in here, so I just put this in place, but not tidying. Okay, this is, I think that should be the ground connection. Absolutely perfect. What I have to do now is to replace I have to replace the thermostat because the, this one here in place it's not doing the job. We are good to go with this one, I believe. This is looking really bad. Okay. Then we have the new one in place. Okay. Pretty good here. thermostats now the temperature sensor is going under here close to the heating element now I can tie the screws let's call it like that here I'm going to the ground because earth or ground it's always with this color we 
nilagay ng yellow yes, there we go and of course the last one should go to the other end of the of the heating element And that's it, people. We should have a working pancake crap. It's not crap, you know, it's crap. This one should be ready to go. I can hear the timer start working. Very nice. down some info for the next repair so this is new resistance and thermostat and today it's 8 of 2021 okay oh man it's so heavy let's turn it off we should have around 30 ohms here and we have like oh sorry now we are on eh, that's perfect this is perfect so i think this is good to go all i have to do now is to check if the thermostat is working to the temperature and that's it i hope it's useful and uh, please comment don't forget to like and subscribe I'll be back soon with some other projects. Don't forget to have fun and bye bye.